All right, so following up our discussion on the redux potential, I now want to talk about the electron carriers. So I want to talk about the other um, molecules that are going to be carrying electrons throughout this uh, process of electron transport. And in the respiratory chain, the electron carriers are arranged in order of increasing redux potential. So remember I said that we want these molecules to have higher and higher affinity for um, electrons, so thus higher redux potential making it possible for the gradual release of energy stored in NADH electrons. So if we're talking specifically about NADH electrons, um, we want to gradually work the energy, we want to gradually take the energy out of these electrons. We don't want to release all the energy right away because if we release all the energy in one big burst, there's no way of harnessing it. And what we essentially want to do in these processes is harness the energy so that we can later use it to make ATP. And so we want to convert this um, you know, electrochemical energy from the proton um, gradient to chemical energy or, or store the energy in chemical bonds, okay? So to do so, we need to do it in a stepwise fashion because we won't have any way to um, take up all that energy once it's released, if it was released in a large burst. So within the three respiratory complexes, okay, the electrons move mainly between metal atoms that are tightly bound to proteins. So these, you know, these metal, it's, it's probably not all that um, weird to hear that because uh, cytochromes are very similar to a hemoglobin. They both have a heme group. And um, we know that that's, that's dealing with iron. So in contrast, the electrons are carried between the different respiratory complexes by molecules that diffuse along the lipid bilayer, picking electrons up from one complex and delivering them to another in an orderly fashion. So essentially what I'm talking about here is coenzyme Q, okay? And I'm talking also about cytochrome C, because those are the two that kind of, well, coenzyme Q specifically diffuses through the um, lipid bilayer <clears throat> and um, transports the electrons from the NADH dehydrogenase complex to the, um, I believe it's cytochrome BC cytochrome BC complex. So the best thing to do is to talk a little bit about, you know, coenzyme Q here. And um, so coenzyme Q is a small hydrophobic molecule and it dissolves in the lipid bilayer. So it's actually located in the lipid bilayer and I have that right here. You can see there's CoQ transporting the electrons from the um, NADH dehydrogenase complex here, also known as complex one. It's a common way to refer to it as complex one. And um, and it, it basically it diffuses through the lipid, it dissolves in the lipid bilayer, and it only it's the only carrier of um, it's the only carrier that is not part of a protein. Okay, so that's kind of important. I mean, it, it's not essential, but it's certainly something you might want to make a note of. And um, CoQ picks up electrons from NADH dehydrogenase complex and delivers them to cytochrome BC complex. And that's exactly what I've been saying. Um, so if you look at this electron transport chain, I think this is a really, really good, um, you know, uh, depiction of it, cartoon drawing of it. You have complex one here, okay? So you have the NADH donating its electrons to the NADH dehydrogenase complex, okay? So here's the two electrons, and we see we have other things in here um, that are also used to transport the electrons to CoQ, to coenzyme Q. Okay, but eventually these electrons get to coenzyme Q. And um, then they're transferred to the BC um, cytochrome complex, cytochrome BC complex here. And finally they're transferred to um, the fourth complex four, okay, which I believe is the cyto cytochrome oxidase um, complex. And then the electrons are transferred to the oxygen, okay, and that forms H2O. So, you know, this, this is kind of a long, lengthy process. But anyway, the bottom line is you donate these electrons here to complex one. It pumps protons into this, um, into the inner mitochondrial membrane here, uh, or inner, inner mitochondrial space. Um, so you're pumping protons in, in here, right? And that's the whole point. And what you'll notice here, which is actually kind of interesting, is that you have FADH2 donating its electrons to what's known as complex 2, or what they're calling the suscanate dehydrogenase complex, or suscanate dehydrogenase. So you're donating the electrons at complex 2, but look, you're, if you're wondering why FADH2 produces less energy, okay, we said, remember we said 1.5 um, ATPs per FADH2 molecule, 
Um, the reason is it skips. Look, it skips complex one. And look, complex one is an essential step. Complex one um, pumps two protons into this space up here. Okay? So complex one pumps these two protons up here. So if you skip this, you're not going to have, and you have, say, FADH2, skipping this process. And notice complex two does not pump protons. So that's important. Complex two does not um, pump protons in into this... Um, does not pump protons across the membrane. Um, so you're not establishing as large of a proton gradient, basically, when you're using FADH2, because you're skipping that vital proton pumping step. Now, you know, there's also some other... Um, so, to get from NADH to, to coenzyme Q, the electrons are passed inside the NADH dehydrogenase complex. Um, between a flavin group um, bound to a protein complex and a set of iron sulfur centers. So you can kind of see, here's your, here's your, if you can see this here, this is iron sulfur FES. So, you know, when the electrons get in here, they go to the, to the FES molecule and then they transfer eventually to um, coenzyme Q. But first to, of course, a flavin group bound to a protein complex. And the cytochromes constitute a family of colored proteins, each containing um, one or more heme groups, as I said before, whose ion, iron atoms can change between the ferric, so that's Fe3+, and ferrous, Fe2+, um, whenever, it, whenever it accepts an electron. So, as expected, the various cytochromes increase the redux potential as one uh, increase in redux potential as one travels along the electron transport chain. So that was something that I said before, was that we're going to notice they're going to hold on to their electrons more and more tightly as we move along the, in this process. And cytochrome C shuttles the electrons between the cytochrome BC complex, okay, complex 3, and cytochrome oxidase complex, which is complex 4. So going back to our chart here, we can see that cytochrome C is right here, and it's transporting the electrons between complex three and complex four. Okay. Now there's other, you know, there's other cytochromes in here. We could see there. This goes to cytochrome B, and then another um, FES, and then cytochrome C1, and then finally to cytochrome C. So there's a lot of detail here. Um, you know, in an introductory course, you're probably not going to be expected to to know all the details of this, but just kind of understand the intuitive principles of it. You know that that um, when you use FADH2, you don't pump protons in this step, so you actually have a, a, you know, a slightly smaller proton gradient. And when you use NADH, it goes through complex 1, complex 3, and complex 4. And then eventually oxygen takes up the electrons and forms water. Okay, so, and all three of those complexes, complex 1, 3, and 4, all pump protons. Okay, so they produce quite a bit of energy. And then we talked about it before, but ATP synthase, you know, six, six protons enter this ATP synthase. That causes it to um, have, you know, some conformational changes that result in the um, phosphorylation of ADP to make ATP. Okay, so three ADPs plus three Ps makes three ATPs. So, you know, that, that's arguable. I mean, I said before, I think, you know, each NADH makes about 2.5. ATP and each um, FADH2 molecule makes 1.5. Those are kind of accepted standards that you can use to make, you know, rough calculations. So hopefully this is helpful discussion on the electron transport chain.